It's Sunday. I was gonna go originally go and do all I woke up so early today and got so much done and stores had nothing. I would show you guys what I got because I did get some like cute stuff actually. Stuff that I don't need but cute stuff. Okay, so I got this from Home Goods. It's gonna match my like nude theme going on, like my all different types of nude. So I got these money trees from Ikea and I've been waiting to plant them for so long, literally like since I moved in, so probably about like a month. So I wanted to get some pots and I just couldn't find any pots that I wanted. If you've been watching my vlogs, you know. And everyone was like, go to Walmart, go to Walmart. Well, I finally found some at TJ Maxx that fit like the vibe I was going for. I wanted two different colors. I didn't want two of the same. So I got a white and a black pot. They're literally the exact same. One's just white, one's black. I'm wanting one of these because I wanna do, my kitchen has nothing in it, you guys. Like literally nothing, look. It's so bare, it is so bare. I'm looking into getting this like crystal honey beehive jar to like hold your honey. Anyways, so I wanna do a black tray with this on it to hold my stevia for my coffee. And then I wanted to do next to it on the tray, the honey crystal beehive glass it's beautiful once i order it off of amazon y'all will see what i'm talking about then i got this this bowl i wasn't even really gonna get it but i thought it was just beautiful to hold my fruit and it was only eight dollars this is gonna hold my fruit and my apples so nicely i'm already looking into so much like colorful stuff for the living room it's actually like disgusting i love that i could just like switch it up like my room's gonna be super neutral and then out here it's gonna be super fun it's kind of like get the best of both worlds giving hannah montana so i got this throw again a different type of nude from target so i thought that would look cute on the bed i got this pillow from target as well just to go um in the middle of the situation and i just thought it was cute because it, it's gonna like add a different texture that's another thing i want like a lot of different textures on the bed so i want like different colors and different textures i know that sounds weird but in my head the vision is like there you know that happens to me a lot actually when i plan an outfit in my head and then i put it on and it doesn't look as good so that could be exactly what's gonna happen here but then i got these these were 15 dollars each and I could have got them on Amazon, the covers and the thing, but it actually would have been more expensive. So I was like, I might as well just get them at Target. I've been up doing shit like all day. That's why I decided to go shopping. This stuff needs to get washed anyway. So I kind of just want to see what the bed will look like and then wash all the stuff. Harley, chew on that and that will be your last day on earth. I promise you that. And who knows where I can get good sheets? Like literally, who knows? Who knows? Because I need good sheets. I'm weird about how they feel. That's my problem. I was wanting um, brown, like, like this, like a deep brown. I'm telling you guys, I cannot find any anywhere. And then all the ones on Amazon have terrible reviews. Harley, no, not yet. Yes, it's really feeding the vibes that I was thinking that it would. Oh my god, it looks so beautiful. Now that there's actually light, I feel like you can actually like see it for what it is. Um, I need more sturdy pillows in the back so these like sit up. But yeah, oh my god, it looks so beautiful. It's like really exactly like pretty much what I wanted. So, oh my god, I love it. Cute, okay, now I just need some artwork and a plant over there. I might get like two brown little runner rugs, like a like a deep brown like that. Runner rugs to go on the side. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're so excited. You mean you boo boo oh my goodness. You better not be peeing. You peeing? You pissing, blah, blah, blah. I can't see anything. You pissing? You better not be peeping. Oh my God. Did you pee? Oh my God, she peed. She gets excited and then pees. Like, what is the reason for that? Like, I just took you out an hour ago. This is why I can't have perfect. Hello, guys. I am... Ah, 
It's time for my weekly grocery haul. If you guys don't like this, you can skip ahead. But I was reading my comments and a lot of people actually do like the grocery hauls. I feel like I always go to Trader Joe's. Personally, Trader Joe's is my favorite. If you have one near you, I feel like it's the most affordable for what you're getting and they have a lot of good stuff. That's like specifically Trader Joe's. Eucalyptus, more for my shower because my old one is drying out. I think I'm gonna put the old one in the bathroom that I don't really use and then this new one in my shower. Somebody commented, I love y'all because you always be commenting and telling me things that I don't know. Somebody commented and told me that eucalyptus is actually toxic to dogs. Don't worry, they don't go in the shower, they don't go anywhere near where water is. So they're not gonna ingest it and I was reading that it's only toxic if they ingest it. It's not toxic for them to like sniff, but they're not gonna be, it's not gonna be anywhere where they can nibble on it. So you, I think that is so like precious and sweet that y'all go out of your way to tell me things that I don't know. I love that, that's why I love like making these videos. But for anybody else to know if their dogs like to eat plants, eucalyptus, it's a no-go. What I was talking about to make my tacos, this is just gonna be like a fun, um, little substitute for me instead of a taco shell, which taco shells aren't even bad. Um, most of them, the corn ones are gluten free, but I just thought that this was like a more low carb option. My digestive issues, let me tell you guys, have gotten so much better. Um, first of all, for all the recommendations that you guys have been giving me, I love y'all so much. Like I said, y'all just always help me out and tell me things that maybe I don't know or um, like give me advice, you know? Um, so everybody gave me such great advice and I want to say that what's really been working for me is one, eating more fiber, two, prebiotics, probiotics, pre and pro, um, and then three, I've been using this stool, let me show you guys, that I have you set up on right now. It's been working wonders for me. I haven't had to take laxatives for the past couple days and it just is, I can't even explain how those three things have helped me so much i'm not in nearly as much pain as i was so it's getting a lot a lot better All things together is really helping but i think the squatty potty is like it's not even a squatty potty it's a fucking stool but having your legs propped up on something while you're you know relieving yourself it really helps it's like real i don't even know how to describe it. i was looking at the i looked it up because i was like what is the science behind this and something about the way your legs are like positioned when you're shitting it uh, has to use less muscles so I can't even believe it so many people have told me to get a squatty potty you know because I've had these issues for a long time and I just can't even believe that that um <laughs> I can't believe that that worked I have brussels sprouts mushrooms because I love mushrooms I'll eat these raw like I'll eat this whole pack raw I love mushrooms I love the way that they taste mm. love mushrooms on pizza <laughs> call me weird but I love it but I also love pineapple on pizza I know that's a big thing that not a lot of people like then I just got some baby um, arugula, some chopped lettuce to make salads, and y'all, I've been going through some weird ass watermelon phase. Like, I don't know what the phase is. I don't, couldn't even tell you, but watermelon is just my fruit right now. I love, I love all fruits, and I'm pretty picky about vegetables. Like, which vegetables I like. I know, you're like, actually grow the fuck up, but I can't. Some vegetables I just don't like, but I like almost every single fruit. Like, I don't think there's a fruit that I really don't care for. I could eat them all. Um, so watermelon has been my thing recently. Um, oh, and then I just got turkey bacon. Then I got gluten-free mac and cheese, because they have gluten-free mac and cheese. I was so proud of myself. I stuck to buying everything only that's gluten-free. Like, it's gonna be really good. Basically just got these for like a cheap, because um, sometimes when I'm here at my house, I feel like I don't have many like indulgent items. I only have like really healthy foods. And sometimes, you know, when a girl's on her period or I'm just not feeling the best or I'm having a bad day, I kind of want to indulge in something like this, like a mac and cheese or something. Then I got red seedless grapes. One time my mom accidentally gave Harley grape jelly and I literally cried for three hours because I thought she was gonna die. And we were like on the phone with the vet. No, they have to ingest the seed. And most of the times the jellies don't have the seed in it. Anyways. I got three of these acai bowls because I love these and I have yet to buy a blender. Y'all know me. No blender. Four packs of hard boiled eggs because I actually like these um, as like a snack, like with some fruit. Eggs and fruit, you're gonna be tooting all day, but it's a nice snack. Or if I have to leave them, they get an egg each. That's pretty much like their breakfast until they eat dinner. Just this 
little cheese blend because I want to make nachos. Two things of jasmine rice because my dogs love white rice and they've been out of it at Trader Joe's for like three weeks now. And I got five, five stacks of chicken. Then I got some dog treats. These are the ones that they love. These are their favorites, the deli style corned beef. And then I got them these um, smoked chicken tenders. I always like to try out the new stuff and see what they like and what they don't like, but they pretty much love all the treats from Trader Joe's. And then these are the chips that I'm gonna use for my nachos. I have pretty much everything else to make nachos. I'm gonna use Beyond um, Beef, the fake meat stuff, to make like a taco nacho something. I don't know, but these are grainless. They're made with cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut flour. These are really good. I've had these before, these grainless chips. They are so good. Even my mom tried them and was like, those are bomb. Like, if you want like a more lower carb vibe, I feel like that's good. Apples, because I love apples. Oh, I have to show you guys my, my fruit bowl. Lemons, to make some lemon water in the morning. Oh my God, I want to smell this. This pumpkin body butter, no, because I've been wanting them to get their fall stuff in and they just were lagging. They were skinny, like they just waited so long. Ooh, ooh, it's thick. Hmm, I guess it smells good, but it's like a little more fruity than I was like expecting. The consistency is great though. I got the last thing I got was six cans of tuna. I'm not really big on fish, but my dogs love tuna. I'm gonna put all this stuff away. I feel like we got a pretty good haul. I spent $154. Every time I walk in there, I'm like, oh, I'm only gonna spend 80 bucks. my pantry's looking a little sparse but this is what i got in here literally nothing i have one more of these left so i need to make um a burger this weekend but i was thinking about getting more um like indulgent like i was saying indulgent snacks for me because this is like supposed to be my cabinet where i put i told myself i put like my more cheat stuff like indulgent things here for me and look at what i have y'all nothing these chips that aren't even fucking bad for you i was gonna get uh trader joe's off-brand oreos to put in my thing but they weren't gluten-free and i like how at target they have gluten-free um, regular Oreos and they're actually really good. I don't like Oreos, but the gluten-free ones I actually really do like like I have some stuff up here I have these which are kind of indulgent, but I only crave them like on my period because I don't really care for like chocolate like that But yeah, like this is so boring. I'm actually gonna move this all this stuff to the other pantry I think that I'm gonna do that Right now because what is the reason I have two different like pantry things going on? I have some peaches, got a bottle of wine. I don't really drink by myself. It looks kind of better. I want to get stuff to obviously like organize it, but this is the situation now. Like that's not top of my priority. I have this little thing to make funnel cakes, which I think is gonna be so fun. I think next time I go to Target, I'm gonna get some like snacks for this section because it's looking a just a little bit bare and then i want to show you guys the fridge which looks fully stocked i love a stocked fridge these people need to come in here and pull my refrigerator out because every time it just hits this thing like i wonder if i could pull it out myself every problem i've ever had in this place i've literally handyman diy would fix it myself so i could probably pull this refrigerator out honestly but yeah the fridge is looking stocked and good so hopefully i can make this stuff last at least a week and a half Maybe two weeks. These are my favorite shakes. I've talked about these like literally for years, but these shakes are the fucking bomb. I get them at Costco. Really need to take a trip to Costco because I'm missing it, but yeah, I got vegetables, more vegetables down here, all the chickens, the eggs, all those eggs. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. And then in here, I just have some hummus some of this stuff that I've never had. But yeah, anyways. Oh 
Oh my god, my strawberries fell out. I got frozen strawberries, but no blender. Anyways, this is this section. This is like my impossible stuff. Um, and then my mac and cheese. And then here I just got rice. A bag of those sweet potato fries that I like. Um, some veggies, potatoes, shrimp. Um, these, I have a bunch of those egg witches. Got some pancakes and my acai bowls, acai. I don't know, acai, acai. I say it both ways. I don't know how the fuck it's right. I wish that Trader Joe's sold candles, y'all. I'm almost out of like damn near all those <laughs> delayed candles that I just bought. We're gonna uh, switch out this eucalyptus. Let me just throw this out. This is pretty dry. Mm, what y'all think? Let me roll it with something. I'll get that one bottle. And we're gonna roll it. You're supposed to do that to release the oils. One of you guys actually gave me that tip that you're supposed to roll it out. I don't want any of this falling on the floor. Six take, mix take, but classic facts only. They want us to double back. Wouldn't be surprised if part two got a fing black. Cause we're them guys and we the truth when we brought it back. It's west side till I die. Hope you quote that. Yeah, ain't no holding back. Giving out sauce. Gotta go dolo, but it's no. Yeah. That's like my favorite new thing is the eucalyptus in the shower. The dress I'm wearing today is from Fashion Nova. It was really inexpensive and I love yellow. I love this color. Paired it with my Ugg slides. My little fluffy slides. All right. Instead of having y'all on the freaking, on 50 million books, I finally got y'all. I finally got y'all on the camera stand now. We're gonna pop some plants. I got these. At TJ Maxx, I thought these were so cute because they're literally the exact same pot, but one in black, one in white. Can y'all hear that? My neighbors, the people above me walk like literal elephants. Like, what are you doing? They like stomp when they walk. And I'm like, are they just walking and it just sounds like that? Because I would feel so bad for the person below me. Like, I'm not skinny, you know what I'm saying? So. I hope that it doesn't sound like that. And then, oh my God, yesterday they vacuumed. <laughs> These motherfuckers was vacuuming for like two hours. I was like, excuse me. I should have picked the fifth floor. I really should have, but it was just so much more money. I felt like it wouldn't have been worth it. But if I had gotten a one bedroom, it would have been less money. No, listen, I got a two bedroom because I was like, there, it's so much space in here. It's damn near like a house. like. So good for these guys. I feel like from transitioning from my grandma's house, it was just gonna be better for them. Um, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, there's it's so much space in here. Even somebody commented on my video and they're like, "That's not an apartment. That's a house. It's big. Like, it's a big apartment." In years, I haven't lived with someone being on top of me because you know I had when I had the condo. Um, it was up and down, and it was just me. I had both the bottom and top story so i haven't lived in a long time with somebody on top of me and oh my god i forgot how annoying it is <laughs> so you need to get away from here because there's potting soil going on get away i need to do this with something under it so i don't uh, uh, get away from the soil i think after my first year here i love this apartment and i know it would be a hassle to move but i think if i want to stay in this um building i might ask to transfer to an apartment on the fifth floor given that they have an apartment that i like probably not because i know that they this is like a brand new building and i think they said that they literally already rented out like almost all the units i'm thinking like even if they only have a one bedroom on the fifth floor i'm gonna take it or if they have one that doesn't have a balcony i think i'm gonna take it these guys don't use the grass that i put for them out on the balcony so that was pointless what I would do if I got a one bedroom is I would put the bed in the living room and then make the room my studio and you know all that going on. And my theme of my apartment, if y'all watch my Amazon thing and I bought that money rug, the theme of my apartment is going to be money because we want to attract money into our lives and abundance, period. So that's my goal is attracting you know money and stuff like that so i got these little money plants they're supposed to bring money and good luck and then i want to get there's like this money ship thing and apparently it's like part of um feng shui and it's like really good for your house to have a money ship oh i saw that on mtv cribs okay guys oh my god I'm so glad that they came out with a new season it's 
Oh my god, I love it. You think it's so cool to just like see people's houses. In the Big Sean episode, he was showing his money ship. And it was like ship and it's got all these like little coins in it. And I was looking it up and I guess it's something that people do in feng shui, when people like come and feng shui your house, to attract more money. And I was like, I love that. I love everything about that. I think it is so cool. So I just have to find like a ship that I like. I gotta find some coins. I just gotta find, um, obviously you can like personalize it and make it how you want. So it's gonna take me a while to find like some one that I actually like, but I love the idea of that. I just thought it was so cool. Um, Oh, bye. So yeah, I eventually wanna do that. Oh, my neighbor across the way is so sweet. She helped me bring in my groceries. I'm so glad that I have a nice neighbor because sometimes you just do not get blessed with the best. A lot of people like, literally hate their neighbors. I feel like I've never had bad neighbors. Everywhere I've ever lived, I've never had a bad situation with neighbors. I feel like I always get along with my neighbors. She um, was telling me that her fan in her room had fallen. No. Literally, it was so crazy because this morning, I the fan was on and I leave them in my room because they cry so loud. I know that if I leave them in the apartment, they'll sit by the door and whine and it'll be a, I'll get a noise complaint. Like, I just know it. So I leave them in my room with the door shut and the TV on loud for Harley because, you know, she whining. When I was leaving, the fan was on and I was like, I'm gonna turn this off just because y'all know I have irrational fears like i literally think of everything bad that could happen so i was like okay well this just scares me that this is on like what happens what if it falls i don't want it falling on them they they lay on the bed in there when i'm gone i was just like no and so i turned it off and then when i come back home she's helping me carry my groceries and she told me that her fan fell i don't know if i'm a psychic or if i just have such irrational fears and then they come true for everybody else. I don't know. I literally was like, I'm sorry, huh? And she said it scared her so much. She went and slept at her boyfriend's house. I was like, oh, I'd be shitting my pants. Like, what if that had fallen? What if that had fallen on her when she was asleep? Like, the, the it's a heavy fan. Like the metal plates. Oh my god, that could cut you up. That could slice you up into a million pieces, bitch. Like full on Jeffrey Dahmer type style. One pot planted, one planted pot, one plant. Okay, I don't even know what I'm saying. And then other one, this one I'm gonna put in my room. This one is taller than that one. I planted them the exact same, but the money plant is supposed to go in the left hand corner. It's supposed to go in the left hand corner of the whole house, but I'm gonna put it in the left hand corner of my room. And then this one is gonna go in the left hand corner of the whole house, um, which is that other room, which is gonna be used as a studio once I make it. And um, as a room for them, I originally got it as a room for them. And tell me why these bitches don't even go in there. I could have got a one bedroom. I could have done it and I could have saved me like $600 a month. That's a lot. But I was like, no, I get the two bedroom because it's so much bigger and I need a bath. Personally, I love a bathtub and the one bedrooms with the bathtubs had no balcony. And how was I supposed to know they, they weren't gonna go on the balcony, you know? So it's all trial and error. That's exactly why, you know, in a year when my thing is up, I'm just gonna ask, I'm just gonna ask, do y'all have a different unit that I could maybe move into? Could I see a different unit? Um, but since everybody is like, moved in already i just don't know if that will work out maybe they'll let me do like month to month until one of those is like available i don't know but i'm just thinking if i want to live here which i think i will want to live here in a year unless my life drastically changes or you know something bad happens here or something like that i love it here i really do like i love my life here i feel like nobody can bother me here um i feel like i still am connected with my friends via the internet which is honestly enough for me like my one friend that i usually do work with here he's like in a relationship and i get it you know what i'm saying i totally understand but like how are you gonna be my one friend and then not want to hang out i wanted to take a trip to ikea Maybe we'll take a trip to Ikea today because I'm really not doing much else. They have the parcels that I want in stock. I need to check today if I go to make sure that I'm not driving out there for nothing. But I am going to get 
Do you hear that? Like these holes are gonna come through the roof. Why did I move out of California? I got fucking earthquakes here. The guy at Trader Joe's was like, oh my God, I can't believe you lived in California with the earthquakes. I'm like, bitch, y'all got hurricanes here. Hurricanes. And he's like, at least we know when a hurricane is coming. I was like, okay, okay, you got me beat on that. I just don't feel it. These people have to be moving something because literally, what are y'all doing? Yesterday they were having a party. A party. First of all, where's my invite? Just kidding, I wouldn't come because COVID. COVID. Um, I actually know a lot of people that have COVID right now. The Delta variant, it's a no for me. So I've been wearing my mask fucking everywhere. Everybody's like, you live in Florida now. You don't need to wear a mask. Bitch, not with my immune system. No. No. If I were to die and I'd have to leave these girls by the, no. No, ain't no fucking way. No. And I know if I die, I hardly would die within the week. Have you ever heard those stories how like, the dog owners die and then a week later, like the dog dies? That would be Harley. I just know. That bitch would be so depressed without me. I'm telling you. Like if Harley knew I was dead, she literally couldn't handle it. She just couldn't. I'm telling you right now. She's like, like she's the queen of separation anxiety. If she knew I was dead, ain't no fucking way that that bitch would be living. I hate to say that, but I just know her. Like, I know her so well. Even though we've never spoken, she speaks to me. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, it looks so cute right there. I got my Jesus candles because I was lighting them because sometimes your girl just needs a little bit of God in her life. I'm gonna put this one on here. Oh, Harley, you actually sitting in this room? Thank God, I thought you, you was gonna have me wasting $500 a month, huh, Harley? Beautiful. Oh, my camera's gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna charge my camera and then we might go to Ikea later. We're at Ikea. You guys are so tired of me coming here in the vlogs. I promise this is the last time. When I checked last time if they had these bar stools in stock, they didn't. Before I grab them, I'm gonna go take a look at the as is section just in case they have any bar stools. I think I gotta pee. Ready, girl? Like you just left the house. Okay, guys. I got Harley and Sadie a toy. Last time I got Harley the panda here because it was literally $2.99, and she's obsessed with it. She loves it. She chews on it every day. So I got them a little more. This one's a little more indestructible. This one's um, how much is this? $5.99. And then I got a scrubby brush so I could scrub the sink, and then a fake plant. guys i am hold on one second so happy with this ikea trip ikea haul two rugs for my bedroom i'm not sure if i'm gonna like these i got black because i didn't want white because white gets dirty the gray it looked like a taupe color like a tan but i just didn't know if it was gonna go with the rest of the tans that are in my bedroom so i got the black if i don't like them i'll probably just find another spot for them in the house all my stuff in there is gonna be black besides the comforter once I get that. If Ugg ever puts it back in stock, like what are y'all doing? Y'all rationing around here? Got this to scrub the sink. New toy for Harley and Sadie because they've been so good. This is the star of the show. Bar stools in the as is section that are literally already made up. I'm gonna have to take this off. Okay, hold on. Now, the covers that I wanted on Amazon are like 15 bucks for a, for a pack of two. I think some lady low-key wanted these, but bitch, I was there first. I mean, she didn't say anything, but she looked kind of sad when I picked them up and put them in the cart. And this is the TV unit, which I got in white. Okay, brought the rest of the stuff up in the wagon. These guys are so excited. You're so excited to see me, huh? Oh my God. Look at the chairs. I'm obsessed with them, actually. I just feel like I got such a good deal because if y'all don't know, Chairs, especially bar stools, are literally so fucking expensive. Anyways, so I'm gonna set this here. We're gonna do this last, last on the list, but it's gonna get done today because I have a problem with patience and I literally can't wait to do anything. I literally have to do it the second. I get it. I'm one of those people that the second that I get home from a trip, I unpack my suitcase. I'm one of those people. And sometimes it's that's really inconvenient to be one of those people that acts that way. Thing for 79 cents. 
because I just thought it would fit perfectly in here. It doesn't fit all dry. Oh no, it does. Like, look, it looks like it has hair. <laughs> this is so cute. I got this for Halloween at Trader Joe's and I brought it with me. It was in one of my boxes, so so can you i literally think that that looks so perfect this is so like self-explanatory i got one of these scrubby brushes because i've seen people washing the sink with these washing the sink washing the tongues i mean obviously this is probably used for washing dishes oh my god it sticks it's like a dildo people i love watching cleaning videos oh my god like i'm obsessed with cleaning youtube i've got this because i've seen a lot of people cleaning their sink with these these and dish soap so it's like, okay, well, I got a dish soap. I just got to get me one of these little scrubbies. I'll do it let y'all know how it works out. But they love it under here. They're going to be so sad when I put a chair here. Oh, my God. They're like, Mama, please don't put a chair here, Mama, because I love it. You love it in there. <laughs> it's like a little den for them. I really want to get them a doggy teepee. These black um, things to go right here on the side of the bed. They're really fluffy. Oh my god. I think the size is like perfect though. I just wanted like a little little rugs to go like like little runner rugs. Hmm, I don't know. I think the brown ones honestly probably would have been better. I found some brown runner rugs on Amazon that I liked. So maybe I'll do the brown rugs here and then put this in here. But it looks so much better in there, doesn't it? I don't know, I feel like it looks, it's like so fluffy that I feel like it's gonna look better as bathroom rugs. You guys, I really haven't eaten all day, so remember how I told you that I wanted to make those nachos? Um, Yeah, I'm gonna do it right now. All I did was cut up a patty of like Beyond um, like beef. So I'm not, oh my God, it's fogging up. I got that in there with the taco seasoning, some butter, some garlic. I have some cheese, some sour cream, some, I'm gonna chop this up into like fine lettuce. dinner i kind of wanted to do a time lapse to show you guys sorry my angles probably aren't perfect but you know i usually don't show like my food stuff i made a salad with arugula i don't really care for arugula but my mom told me that i need to eat more arugula so got arugula um an apple candied pecans and balsamic vinaigrette just a really simple like side salad and then i made a vegan well not vegan vegetarian burger with those cauliflower thins really good substitute for bread um, I got some vegan mayo some lettuce regular cheese and then avocado so yeah this is my dinner I'm gonna have it with a bunch of water because I haven't had water all day I've only been having coffee so what did these girls have these girls had white rice tuna and green beans yeah all right we'll see you guys good morning I need a new camera. Good morning, you guys. I wanted to do like my shorts are inside out. Oh my god, the tags all sticking out on my crutch. Anyways, I wanted to do like a little morning shower routine. I'm trying to make my channel more. Well, I'm not trying to like change anything about my channel, but 
I know that like with vlogs, especially someone who like literally lives the same life almost every single day, um, with a little bit of variation, it can get really boring um, to watch vlogs like that. I center a lot of my content around self-care and stuff like that. The side that I really haven't been showing for a really long time. I took my tooth gems off last night. Well, most of them. I left these ones and these ones down here. I love tooth gems. I'm definitely going to get more eventually, but... I've had them, I had those ones on for so long that it felt like when I was brushing my teeth I wasn't getting as good of a clean and I'm just weird about that. I felt like the glue started getting um, like yellow, like obviously because it was like getting old, you know. It made me feel like my teeth weren't clean, especially on this one tooth. So I went at it with some nail clippers. I do not advise if you have two gems I would I do not advise going at it with nail clippers um I did and my teeth are fine but that could actually like really fuck you up all off and the tooth is not yellow at all they put like a primer thing on it so um the your tooth doesn't get damaged basically um from the gem and from it being glued on there but yeah I had these four still and then that one but the rest of them just had to go I had them on for so long like my ones that were over here i've had them on since march so make sure y'all go to my girl in laguna beach i know i'm not in california anymore but she does the best tooth gems um they stay on for so long like i literally had to pry them off like <laughs> if you want long lasting tooth gems go to her she does such a good job um i just felt like my teeth weren't getting clean anymore um and i honestly truthfully missed seeing my own teeth and honestly wearing my retainers because obviously you can't wear retain i would make the bottom one fit but the top one was not my fit i had way too many gems up there so i kind of missed wearing my retainers my teeth was getting like my teeth were getting um not straight anymore they were just like you know going all a different bunch of ways so can't wait to do a white strip on that but yeah anyways go to my girl in laguna beach um i'll leave her shit down below not sponsored or anything we never do like anything together she's just such a good person and does such a good she has like a creative eye for gems you know so and you're in california if you're in orange county go to laguna beach they actually redid my back tattoo as well it's a tattoo shop and her boyfriend like runs the tattoo shop she'd be running are you okay Harley is sick, y'all. I don't know if it's allergies. I don't know what it is. She was scaring the fuck out of me yesterday. I swear to God, if I literally sat here and told you, oh my God, like, don't worry about the eucalyptus and she, and a piece fell and she ingested it. I've been thinking about it for the past 24 hours. I'm literally like an irrational thinker. Um, I don't think any of the eucalyptus fell, but I'm not buying that shit anymore. I, this has already scared me enough. Like, she's having like breathing problems. Um... Like I said, I don't know if she's just coughing because she's sick or she has a fever or we went to the dog park. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened at the dog park. Okay, because I said I was going to tell you that I never fucking did. Sunday we had went to the dog park and my mom and I had went to this dog park when my mom was here. For everybody asking, my mom did go back to California. She's going to come in November and she'll be here November and December. Parte, I'm so excited. I literally miss my mom so much. That's literally my girl. She's going to be here for two months. She's going to be here for Thanksgiving and Christmas because... She can't stay away from me. <laughs> we love each other so much. Anyways, she, when she was here, she had found this dog park that it's a great dog park. It's probably one of the nicest dog parks they've ever been to. So this Sunday, I had taken them. We got up super early. We went to the dog park. So many dogs, obviously, because it's the weekend, right? I'm like, these girls going to have so much fun. Anyways. So I take them into the dog park, and they have different sections sectioned off. So I take them into the all dog side first. There was a dog that was getting just a little bit aggressive with Sadie and I was like, okay, let's go to the small dog side because I feel like the dog was huge. Like he could have like eaten her, you know? And I was like getting just a little bit nervous because Sadie is one of those dogs that if an owner throws a toy, she will run with the dog. She won't go get the toy because she knows it's not hers, but she will run with the dog right alongside the dog looking like she's going to grab the toy because she just likes to run. And it was scaring me because the dog thought that she was like trying to get the toy and oh my god and the dog was like getting really aggressive with her so i was like okay we're going to the to the small dog side harley gets anxiety because we all know what type of dog harley is oh my little scaredy cat queen okay and she's 
we're in there. We're in there for like two minutes. Harley's liquid assing, liquid pooing in the corner. It's in the corner though. Like my queen knows not to go like out and about. You know, she's doing it in the corner. Period. Like exactly. You do it in the corner where no one's gonna step on it. So she's doing like literally in near the fence, like in the back of the freaking dog park. Like there's nobody over there. They're running around having a time after Harley liquid poos. Um this lady comes up to me and she's like Excuse me, are these your black dogs? First of all, yes. <laughs> okay. I thought she was going to ask, tell me that they were cute or something. Or be like, are they twins? That's what everybody says. Are they twins? Just like, can you pick up their dog shit? Because they both shitted. No, she didn't say shit. She said, can you pick up their dog poo? Because they both pooed. I'm like, first of all, are you the poo police? Who the fuck is you? I literally said to her, I was like, this one didn't poo. Because I've been watching her the whole time that I've been fucking sitting here. And this one did a liquid number. So do you want me to pick that up? Would you like to pick that up? Would you like to pick up the liquid poo? Tell me how I'm supposed to pick that up. How am I supposed to pick up liquid? I can try and then hardly liquid pooed again. So I tried to pick it up. The rest of the time that we were in there, she watched Sadie like a motherfucking hawk. Literally staring at her. I literally was about to be like... What the fuck are you looking at? Are you waiting for my dog to shit so you can tell me to come pick it up? Oh my god, I was about to fight this lady. She was having me so... Mm. Almost was like, listen up, Karen. If you want to pick up the liquid poos, be my guest. I'll get you a bag, bitch. Now I'm in the market for a new dog park. And then when I was switching from dog parks, like from the all dog side to the small dog side, this lady like gets up in my... There's two dogs sitting in, in the in the walkway. They're sitting in the walkway to go between the all dog side and the small dog side. So I'm walking Harley and Sadie, okay? And this lady like gets up in my face and is like, no dogs, they're training. No dogs, they're training. I'm like, then move out of the fucking walkway. This is a dog park. How are you gonna, how are you gonna tell me not to walk in the walkway and that you're training dog? Move then. I didn't say anything. I just looked at her like, what the fuck is wrong with you? She like gets all up in my face. No dogs, no dogs, they're training. I'm like, oh boy, I like try not to laugh. I'm like, is this lady kidding right now? Like, I have to go from one side to the next. It's literally, it's literally free sidewalk. Like, what do you mean? No, move. <laughs> I just had to tell you guys that because I thought that was so, it's like fucking funny. I was like, oh my God, what is going on here? Like, it was just one of those days where it's like, everybody was just being weird. Like, I felt like everybody was like, up oh, my asshole. What is wrong with you people? Anyways, I'm about to get in the shower and give y'all just a little, I don't even know y'all. I have a lot of work that needs to like get done today. So I need to take a shower, make sure I feel so good and so fresh and so clean, clean. Um, I'm going to put my hair back in one of these because I washed my hair last night. And I've been washing my hair just with, you guys watch my Amazon um, video. I bought like rice water and the rice water bar to grow my hair and like thicken it and stuff and then the native The native conditioner I have to go next time I go to Target I'm picking up the shampoo because this native conditioner. No, it's a crime that this smells so good This I just didn't even think I was gonna like this this much this shit, I think this is better than the deodorant. I'm sorry, their deodorant is good, but nobody talks about this. I love this. This is the Almond and Shea Butter. If you guys watched my hygiene, my last video, I picked this up. I love this. I literally think that I want to try every single scent, but I know the one scent I did not like at all. But I'm obsessed with this. I think this is so good. Oh my God, this is made in San Francisco. Hey, Maria. <laughs> I literally never heard anybody say anything about this and it's so good. Anyways, I just want to tell you guys. And I didn't buy any products in my last uh, video that I didn't like. Actually, let me tell you something else that I really like. I have never ever, ever used a Jergens lotion before this one. I don't know if it's the specific one or if it's all Jergens lotions. I love the Sorry y'all, my camera. I had to delete some stuff because it didn't have enough storage on it. I don't know if it's this specific lotion or it's all the Jergens lotion, so I want to get another one when I go, but why didn't anybody tell me that this is literally the best lotion? Anyways, let's get in the shower, get this fucking shower routine going. Well, not a shower routine, but shower in the shower. <laughs>
basic Now I ain't never been with the fake shit I put Jordans on your laces Man, I fed your family faces Value me and my time They friends of yours, they friends of mine Oh my god, my camera's working The rice works If you guys need a cheat I feel like everybody knows about it For anybody who doesn't know about the rice trick If you get something wet that shouldn't be wet Like an electronic Stick it in rice for a couple days because my camera was literally dead and it's back and it's revived and I'm so happy about it. Sorry, it's early and I look crusty, but I want to show you guys the new um, improvements going on with the house. Well, not improvements, but you know, a couple of different things that I did while my camera was dead and I couldn't film. So, I got this little honey jar off of Amazon. I think I told you guys that I wanted to do this. Um, little honey, this little honey sugar situation right here. I'm so excited. This is like, no, you don't even understand. It was like $18, I think, off of Amazon. All you have to like search is a like crystal honey jar and it'll like come up. I think it was a, one of the ones that's like bestseller type of business. But oh my god, it's so cute. Now I just want like a black tray to go under here. The bar stools. Oh my god, let me turn the light on because this is crazy. Harley? Okay. Nope. Licking? Okay, this is another thing that's been new over the past couple hours. Harley has to wear a cone, my little cone head. I take it off when she's being good and I put it back on when she's licking. I know I should keep it on the whole time, but it really does bother her and I feel bad. Anyways, Harley is having an allergic reaction to something. I think it's the grass that's around my building but i'm not sure and her paws are swelling up they're like 12 times the size look at her face she's got an allergic reaction on her face because she can't stop fucking licking that's why she's got the cone a, a really bad like really bad allergic reaction so i'm calling all these vets okay and every vet is like we're not taking new patients we're not taking new patients we're not taking new patients call the animal hospital so i call three vets then i call all the animal hospitals in tampa whatever Everybody keeps me on hold for like an hour. I like literally can't get through to anybody. I'm about to just like take her down there. I'm like, what is wrong with these people? Like, what is wrong with these people? This is like one of those times where I'm like, oh my God, I just wish I was in LA where my vet is. Cause I know that in a situation like this, like they would see her that day. You know what I'm saying? Or at least like within the 24 hours, it's like making me so frustrated. So I went and got her like all these supplements. And is testing me like, what's going on? Is it a retrograde? I don't know what's happening. Y'all, I do need a new camera. I just wasn't ready to buy one right now. I'm riding this till the fucking wheels fall off till it literally doesn't turn on anymore. I heard salmon oil blend because I read that that's good for seasonal allergies. Then, well, this is unrelated, but I got her these calming bites. They like this brand, so I'm just gonna like keep continue with this brand. This is the Zesty Paws, and I got her calming bites because you guys know she's crazy. Well, she got anxiety, so I like to get stuff to like calm her down. And then these probiotic bites, because I was reading that probiotics, you need to give your dogs probiotics because, I don't know, something about, I don't know, something about that isn't good for them. And then I have these allergy pills that I've had for Harley forever because she gets allergies and she gets, her paws get inflamed. But this is like unlike anything I've ever seen before. Like it's really bad. I've been giving her Epsom salt baths. I've been washing her with this antibacterial, antifungal, um, Stuff. I've been putting this specific stuff, this blue butter stuff that I got off of Amazon on her paws and it's supposed to be good for like wounds and stuff. She's just like got these like, oh my God, they're big and they're bloody and she's got like these calluses and stuff on her. Yeah, so I went to the pet store and I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. If no vet can get me in and get me some fucking medication or something, I'm just gonna go to the pet store and get what I can get that says off a line that will help her. I don't know what else to do. I really don't know what else to do. It's like stressing me the fuck out. I still do think that it's the grass, either the dog park grass in here or the grass outside of the building. Look at what your bitch did. Look at what your bitch did and they won't go on it. They won't go on it. It's been the most stressful 24 hours. Harley did go on it, but Sadie will not go on it. So Sadie only peed twice yesterday and I know that bitch was holding it in. I felt so bad, but look at what I did. Um, well, don't mind that grass patch. I gotta cut that and like take care of that one. But this, look at how big this is. Like, bitch, huh? Big ass grass. If you're trying to do something like that for your dog, 
that grass you can buy it in little things at home depot you literally just ask for sod 2.98 a thing so i got 12 of them so it was only 35 dollars that big ass that big ass thing for 35 dollars and i paid like 80 dollars for well 80 dollars because of the tray but i paid 40 dollars for that for that little fresh patch thing that y'all saw i threw that shit away because they were so scared of it i don't know what the fuck they treat that shit with but no my dog was not a fan or my dogs i'm sorry my dogs were not fans of that they did not like the fresh patch i'm sorry if anybody else uses that and loves it and thinks it's a great company i'm sure it is but my dogs not fans do i recommend it no because my dogs didn't like it i recommend you go to home depot and do it for cheaper she feels so bad that she won't go on it like oh my god like you're gonna give yourself a bladder infection like she smells harley's pee on it but she won't go on it herself so when she shits next time when i take her down because i take them down in the morning and night i've been taking them down in the morning and the night time and Har sadie will hold her pee till she knows she's gonna go outside like why does she do that there's this great nice grass that i got you i don't know girl i don't even know look how gorgeous these turned out i literally can't even believe it i don't think i'm gonna paint the legs like i said i was going to do I thought that maybe I would paint the legs, but I actually really, really like them like this because I feel like it matches that little TV stand over there situation. Set it once I get this TV, which I'll probably do within the month, get another TV. Actually, maybe not because there's a chip shortage going around and TVs are like $200 more than they would originally be. If y'all don't know, there's a chip shortage on like electronics and stuff. So right now is not the time to buy an electronic unless you absolutely have to. Um, that's another reason why I don't wanna buy a camera. Same with um, cars, chip shortages for cars. So yeah, not a good time to buy like that type of business, just to let y'all know. Anyways, so um, these were a pack of their velvet, just exactly how I want the couch. I want the couch to be this black velvet and I found a couch that I love, but girl, is it expensive? expensive but it's literally perfect it's like a cloud couch dupe but it's still expensive because it's a it's a hefty couch like it's a big couch like it's probably gonna take up almost all that space i wasn't gonna get a couch originally i was gonna put beanbag chairs and now i'm like i'm just not fucking with that vibe i mean maybe if i get two big love sacks because those are huge but I'm just kind of feeling like there will be no point because those love sacks are like $800. So what is the point? I might as well just get a whole couch. I am so pleased with how these turn out. I know I got these in the as is section. So happy with these. I originally wanted the, the bottoms gold, but I actually like them white. So um, if I really, really want to, or you know, um, if I feel am feeling like I want to redo them, I can always paint the bottoms, paint them whatever color I want. This is kind of what I want to do, the vibe I want to do. I want to get another pillow like that to sit here. Last but not least on the home things. I did order these brown mats and I think they actually look a lot better than the black ones. Um, it's looking a little weird because of the lighting. But yeah, there we go. Runner rugs off of Amazon. I think these were $12.99 each. But yeah, this kind of like more of the vibe that I wanted. Oh my God, I have to tell you guys. I'm so excited because guess what came back in stock? Guess what came back in stock and you know your girl ordered it. My Ugg comforter is going to be here on the 15th. That's what it says. It's going to be here on the 15th. It's going to be so beautiful. We're going to open it and like put it on the bed together. And you know all of that business. So oh my god. I'm so excited. It's just not been a good week for me. I'm really... I need to like do a reset and recharge for the next week because I think that I'm just going to be carrying so much negative energy into the next week and that's not good. But I placed an order with Boohoo on the 27th of August because y'all know I didn't bring many clothes here and until my mom brings me clothes I don't really have much even like legging sets I only have like two skins legging sets like I don't even have much to like go run errands in I placed an order with Boohoo they said that it cleared customs in Miami on the 31st of August and no traction since so so I called FedEx first of all I messaged Boohoo and I'm like where the fuck is my pet? Like, hello? Like, y'all said it would be here in eight business days at Clear Customs in Miami, and now no traction for two weeks. I'm kind of confused. Um, they haven't got back to me, so we're gonna see about that. Um, I really want the clothes. I don't want a refund. Like, I want the clothes. Um, I was reading things about Boohoo, y'all, and I love Boohoo. 
but after this little experience i'm not sure i was like reading problems that people had with boohoo and then because first i was blaming fedex and i was like these fedex people fucking losing my packages and shit it's not fedex because i called them and they said they hadn't even picked it up to go to go on to get it to come to my house they hadn't even picked it up in a truck so they couldn't even scan it so i'm like okay so if it, I, I asked the guy i'm like so if it clear customs miami where is it like do you guys know where to, and he's like let me put a track on it and then someone's gonna call you back so i'm trying to track it through fedex i'm trying to message boohoo if nobody messages me back within the week and i don't receive the package which it's not looking girl it's not looking good it's not looking like the package is gonna be received it was like 300 dollars worth of shit i think it was like 280 bucks worth of stuff so I love Boohoo, but y'all, mm -mm. and the stuff I was reading about them, I was just like, <laughs> people having like similar problems, and then when they try to go get a refund because their stuff didn't come, the people stop emailing them. And I'm like, no. See, that's why I order shit through PayPal, because PayPal is going to figure this out. I'm going to tell them that I never got my shit, and they're going to get me my money back. I don't think so, Boohoo. You're not scamming me, baby. Every bank I've ever like banked with or anything, they'll take care of it. Like they'll handle it. You know, you tell them that you never received. If you go straight to your bank and tell them, yo, I never received this, they'll put in a claim and they'll get you your money back. But since I did it through PayPal, I have to do it obviously through PayPal. But and I know it could not be their fault. It could be wherever it's stuck in customs. But like the stuff that I was reading about, like them not wanting to give refunds for stuff that like never got there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No. It's not, it's not working with me. You're not about to pull that on me. Hope you guys have a blessed, blessed day. I can't wait to see you guys in the next vlog. Yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next motherfucking video. Bye, baby.